All right, we should be live. Double check in here. Yeah, all right. Welcome to Fireside Chat number 242. Sorry, getting started a little bit late here. But uh, very little to go over for this week. I believe I already talked about the new gallery channel um, last week. Other than that, not too much going on. We're a little over a week away from the end of the month. So if you do have any kind of duties that need to be completed, whether that's just posting and roll call, or if you're an officer perhaps uh, doing uh, the roster review or anything like that, do be thinking about getting that done um, within the next week or so. Uh, let's see, officer meeting will be on the 1st of April. So kind of early, you know, it's always first Saturday of the month. Since the first is a Saturday this week, that means it's going to be uh, pretty early. Uh, other than that, not too much to go over. I think I'll just kind of go over a little bit of what we've been working on behind the scenes. So um, it's mostly going to be uh, house dippity stuff. So to start with, uh, we've been continuing to uh, work on stuff for a potential house dippity night order that is still under construction, but um, progress is being made on that. I think it's still definitely a ways away. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely, you know, stay tuned. The I think that that is going to be something that uh, gets done. I mean, I hate to give a definite date, but I think optimistically, I'm hoping for within the next couple of months at most um thing getting done much sooner is the relics of house deputy so if you're in a house deputy that's kind of one of our major traditions that you can take part in basically relics are if you see those of us who have a colored border around our discord avatar um including uh old Arian, Kuseg, uh myself uh well let's just check the spreadsheet and see if i missed anybody and Verstein as well. So we all have are in possession of relics. Um, we also list that on your profile. You can, of course, use the avatar with the border on anything, whether it's the WA forums or a game or a website or anything like that, of course. But the primary thing is that you use it on Discord. And it's also listed on your WA profile, as I said. And we have a special relic spreadsheet, which you can access. Let's see where we have. Yeah, that is pinned in the House Dippity chat, so you can check that out. And um, that lists basically everything you need to know. So uh, we've got the Relic status page, which just is a list of relics and what's going on with each one. So it lists, you know, who has what relic and who is working towards or pursuing each relic. If you're not familiar with the relics, basically uh, you have to complete a series of tasks to earn a, a kind of points basically we call them veneration but basically points um once you get enough um you complete the the requisite tasks you can earn a relic and uh, that's really the gist of it um it's a little bit more complicated but the the sheet kind of explains all of that there's also a list of relics that has a little bit more information on the relic itself kind of a little flavor text lore kind of information and also Um, lists uh, some of the required trials for each one. Um, I'll kind of go into detail with that, but again, the gist of it is there's just certain trials you have to um, complete uh, for each relic. So um, to start with, we have just like, the regular trials, basically. Um, and what those are, there's a page on the sheet that says trials, with which, or, and it's there that you can uh, check out um, all of those. So just going over some of them, recruiting a member, getting a recruit promoted, earning a mark, uh, winning a duel against somebody else, um, basically uh, praising house dippity in game or on the forums or something, um, having a house dippity gathering in a voice chat or in a game or anything, uh, getting promoted, uh, writing a story, composing, creating some kind of work for WA, uh, becoming an earl, a prince, or a lord, creating a family, earning a title, earning an emblem, and earning a knight insignia. These are all different things that give you different numbers of veneration or points. Some of them not very many. Um, now, actually, the interesting thing is that depending on which relic you are trying to get, uh, you'll earn different points uh, for, say, recruiting a member, for example. 
and a little bit it's kind of tuned to the original owner or creator of the relic. So the pauldrons of Dippity, Dippity Dog, the great recruiter, one of his titles, of course. Recruiting a member earns you two points for that, which is pretty high. But what about for um, the Hammer of Sanctifico? Well, only half a point her recruit for him because this is not something he's known for. But on the flip side, winning a duel as Sanctifico would earn you eight points, whereas winning a duel as Dippity only earns you five. So it's kind of, you know, the points are a little bit based on uh, who the relic uh, is is named for. Um, and all that is on the trials page on the sheet, everything you need to know there. There's also a link to a relic guide, which basically, um, it's just, it's quite short. It's about a, a page and a half-ish. Um, and it basically just goes through uh, in text form. It's, uh, it's basically instructions that explain exactly how to get a relic from beginning to end everything you need to do um tells you where to look and all of that so that's super um handy and that's that's linked uh all over the place in the sheet every single page it's linked uh near the top it just says relic guide just click that link and you can check it out there's also even a page called guide which has a link to the guide so it should be easy to find if you can find the sheet so you've got all those regular trials. You have to earn enough veneration um, depending on what relic you want. Um, now these are being fine-tuned. Um, so one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to significantly decrease the amount of veneration you need to earn. Because before it was really high. Um, and it kind of varied like to, get, to earn a saint's relic like Loki, Dippity, or Sanctifico. Right now it's set up that you need 250. We're going to lower that significantly because the purpose of these is to be attainable by anyone, provided they put in the work. Not to be kind of gatekept by whether you're like an old timer who's been around for 15 years who just gets a bunch of veneration by default because you've done half this stuff over the course of your time in WA. Um, this should be something that new members can get excited about and can actually get involved in if they want to. So um, what we'll probably do is reduce the points required by something like 50%. It'll probably be a little, little bit of variance, but um, that's the plan, is to try to do that. And part of the reason for that is because originally, that's all you had to do, was just get enough veneration, and you get it. Um, and of course, the people who have the relics right now that earned it that way, myself included, are um, going to keep them. It's not, you're not going to get it taken away or anything like that. But we're changing it to try to make it a little bit easier for newer members to to get them. And also make it more fun and interesting than just, you know, just racking up points to actually have a little bit more to it, a little bit more flavor to it, basically. So what we did is basically, in addition to that, there's individual runic trials. So we have a list of, um, I believe, 16 runes. And uh, each rune uh, corresponds to a particular task you need to complete. So, for example, the rune for metal asks you to create something uh, for the clan, whether that's a story, a song, a video, a guide to something, a database, artwork, anything like that. Um, how about another one? Uh, the wealth rune uh, requires you to uh, earn 5,000 yarna using the exclamation point daily command at the bot shrine and then give it to somebody else so um, those are just some examples uh, the yew rune like a yew tree um, half has you uh, recruit two members into the clan the c rune requires you to host a new event twice it needs to be on a game that doesn't have any events being held right now and your events have to be attended by at least two people So this is just some examples, but each runic trial kind of has its, has its own thing. And basically, um, it's required to, or rather, each relic has three runes associated with it. So in order to get that relic, you have to complete the runic trials for those three runes. So basically, there's three kind of, a particular combination of three of those runic trials that you need for any given relic. So every relic is different in that way, um, which is another thing we wanted to do is make them really feel you know, differentiated, not just like you can get whatever relic you want, you just need to earn a bunch of veneration. This way, each one is unique. And to make that even uh, more unique, there's actually one final trial 
Initially, we called it a capstone trial, but um, we changed it, so now it's called a reclamation or a restoration trial. You don't always have to do this, so basically, on that relic status sheet, not only does it say who has what relics, but the relics that nobody has, it says what their status is. So some of these relics are either lost or broken. So if they're broken um, or lost, you have to do a uh, reclamation or restoration trial, um, respectively. Now, there's no difference between the two. Uh, it's really just, you know, lore, thematic difference, flavor difference, essentially. Basically, what it means is that if it's lost or broken, there's one final step you have to do to get it. If it's not lost or broken, it'll say a vaulted, and that means all you have to do is just do the regular trials, get enough iteration, and then do the three runic trials for that relic, and you get it. But if it's lost or broken, you got one final step. And for that, each relic has a choice of three tasks. You only have to do one of these, but there's three options. Um, and these tend to be harder than than the the regular old trials, which a lot of them are, you know, very simple. I mean, something like recruiting a member or something. I mean, not that it's incredibly easy, but it's pretty easy. Um, but the runic trials are usually stuff that tends to be more more specific to the owner of the relic, and um, some of them can be rather difficult. As an example, um, some of the options for the pauldrons of Dippity. One is recruit 15 members into the clan. At least five of them must make marine. That's pretty tough. Might not be able to do that. But that's why there's three uh, to, to pick from. There's three options for you. So if one of them, maybe you're not a great recruiter, hey, you could try option B, which is come up with an idea for a fictional house. You need to come up with a name for the house, describe its theoretical coat of arms, or create it. You also need to come up with colors, symbols, a motto, a patron or deity, and uh, a theoretical lord or lady uh, for your house, which can be you, uh, another member of the clan, or a fictional member of the clan. So um, really not that hard. It just kind of asks you to brainstorm and do something with your imagination uh, in that regard, and uh, much more doable. But the idea there is that there are some different options, and these are both things that are related to Dippity, because A, Dippity was the founder of House Dippity, so that's why coming up with an idea for your own house and all of its information fits with him. And he was a great recruiter, so that's why recruiting 15 people fits in with him. Uh, as some other examples, uh, Acts of Galref, one of the options is to establish a platoon on Xbox or any Xbox game, uh, lead it successfully to, for two months, and then accomplish something impressive in-game and take a screenshot of yourself and your WA companions in-game to commemorate that. Again, not very easy, but why is it there? Well, because Galref famously led Xbox, uh, WA's Xbox division, um, for quite a while. Uh, similarly, same thing, but for World of Warcraft, uh, for the Gauntlets of Havoc, who was also a famous leader for WA on World of Warcraft. So you can kind of see the idea there is with this final, uh, if you want to call it a capstone trial, but really it's a reclamation or restoration trial, is to really follow in the footsteps of the person who started the relic. And since we actually have some new relics that have been added recently for all of the newest Einar and Dippity, including me, uh, Eodor, Kusiag, Ofald, and Anarian, um, we have our own relics, and we've come up with our own, uh, or we are in the process of coming up with our own um, particular uh, uh, trials, um, which sort of uh, relate to us. So you can kind of, you know, emulate our deeds in the clan in that way. So that's kind of the idea um, with the relics. And that's something we're working on right now is, is um, coming up with all of those final reclamation or restoration trials, all the options for each relic. Um, and quite a few have been come up with. I think maybe we're 40%, 50% done. Um, I've been brainstorming some more of those. I've asked some of the other guys to come up with them. So uh, yeah, that is uh, in the works right now and making good progress. And yeah, also Dipty Night Order, of course. Um, currently uh something we are working on as well but uh, with that i'm gonna go ahead and sign off i'll be around for office hours shortly